around with no nut. What's up? Uh, yeah. Hey. See this dab of stony. Mask call and we in the thing. Yeah. yeah. You wanna be on F for radio? We got you. Yeah, we got you. Edit and direct your own videos. We got you. Hey, man, we got you. You wanna be behind the scenes? Yeah, we got you. Turn up. You wanna be in magazines? Yeah, we got you. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ernest LeCount, and this right here is Pine BCU Problems, where we take your problems and issues around school and the campus, and we turn them into crazy, outrageous skits. Now, if you missed last week's episode, don't worry. We got you. Trust us. Check this out. Wanna be a star? You gotta work for it. Them journalists in your class, they got the word for it. This mass calm, we live, don't hate it. Internship today, tomorrow, your places that you only seen in your dreams. Let me break it out for those who trying to get the train. Yeah, you think you heard wrong, forget what you heard. Cause anything you need to know, we gon' bring you the word. One word to describe us, magnificent. Like the marching wildcats, bro, we heavens. Dog, I'm telling you. You wanna be on F for radio? We got you. Yeah, we got Edit you. and direct your own videos. We got hey, you. Man, we got you. You wanna be behind the scenes? Yeah, we got you. Turn you up. You wanna be in magazines? Yeah, we got you. What's you up? wanna be on F for radio? We got you. Yeah, we got you. Edit and direct your own videos. We got hey, you. Man, we got you. You wanna be behind the scenes? Yeah, yeah we got you. Turn you up. You wanna be in magazines? Yeah, yeah we got you. <laughs> I told you we got you. But now, let's get to business. The first thing, refunds. Now, for you all formal college students and college students, we all know about refund time. We all know about refund time. Now listen, it's, it's crazy because we, we want our money now. When, when it's time for refunds, we want, we want to go up there and be like, give me my money, <laughs> right? I want you to think about that. Why you watch this? Hello, sir. I'm here to come pick up my refund, my emergency refund. Um, I just heard you just have to come here and just pick it up. Oh, yes, yeah, just fill out this paperwork and then you'll be all set. Fill out the paperwork? All right. The man. Sex. You already know. <laughs> Date. Sometime in February. The reason why I need my refund. Them J's come out this weekend. <laughs> Sign and date. Money. Need the money. Please, please, somebody. <laughs> Man, you can't tell me that's not the truth. The thirst is too real for the refunds. You know what? Speaking of thirst, I, we have to address this. The thirst in today's society. Now, social media is crazy. It's huge. But some things uh, just don't be flowing with me. And like on Facebook, liking statuses when you know you really don't want to like that. It's just because of the person. You know what? I'm not going to say no more. Let's go to my brother, Caleb, for the interviews. There's a new epidemic going on called the thirst. Side effects include the ability not to accept rejection, the constant feeling for the opposite sex, and the burning desire for attention. I'll begin my investigation to see if it's affected the Bethune-Cookman campus. 
the thirst. Are you affected? Now, um, this is big epidemic calling on called the thirst. In your definition, I just want you to tell the people out there what's your definition of being thirsty. Plain and simple, my definition of thirst is the inappropriate and obvious way of showing your desire for a person. Mm, to be thirsty. Um, the definition of thirst, I would have to say, would be dudes going on BC on Cut, talking about how bad females are. But they go on their Facebook page, on these women's Facebook pages, liking their statuses, liking their pictures, saying, oh, babe, I want to go out with you, all this, that, and another, and just acting thirsty. So. To be thirsty to me is to quench after something, which means that you pan after it, you want it, you think about it, you do things to get toward it, you take steps. So to be thirsty can be taken in a negative and a positive way. To be thirsty in a negative way, a lot of people tend to use the term for women who are like gold diggers, they go after money, wealth, and they find these things in men. So they take particular steps to, I guess, get the men's money. It could be sex, it could be words, it could be music, it could be, you know, different provocative things. Oh man, okay, so thirsty, um, well, thirsty is not new. I, I think <laughs> we need to understand that the thirst is real and it's been real for like centuries now. Um, there's a fine line between persistent and thirsty. Persistent is like, you know, you're confident with what you're doing. Thirsty is like you're desperate. So you're just annoying, and uh, I, I think people need to get a grip on that because it's kind of creepy. Now, has any guy on campus been thirsty towards you? Yes. Now, how how have you personally experienced somebody being thirsty towards you? Uh, I don't want to put him out there like that. You don't have to. Okay. Uh, cause say John Doe. John Doe. John Doe. He know who he is. <laughs> always posting a BC on cut. Always trying to go back and forth with me, but be the main one going on girls' Facebook pages, liking statuses, asking for numbers, sending naked pictures to their phone. That is thirsty. Uh, can you elaborate, like, what have they done? Like the guys that like to hang out on the fever steps, when you're walking by and making inappropriate comments, like, hey, ma, what's up, shoddy? Stuff like that. Hmm. Don't say, hey, shorty. I will not answer you with that. Um, just as a guy speaking, what would be appropriate comments to say to you? Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Did I catch your attention? <laughs> You did. Uh, you can say excuse me or you can just walk with me or something like that nature. But any slang, I would not give you the time of day. Uh, just, you know, my two favorite words, just chill, bruh. Just chill. Just chill, okay. bruh. That's it. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Listen, the thirst is real. Now, on to the next. Urges. We all have different urges as college students and faculty and staff members. Uh, for example, you know you have an eight o'clock on Thursday. Why would you go out on Wednesday to Wildcat Wednesday? Now, you better think about it. <laughs> the urges are real. Let's get into this next skit. Matt. Fool, look at me. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? It's me, your old friend. Mr. Fiddlesticks, you can talk? Stop playing. Man, you're stupid. No, fool. It's me. Oh, oh, it's you. Uh, I, I can't. I got, I got homework right now. I got to do homework. Why? Because I need to do homework. That's why. You don't need to study. You're better than that. Stop acting like you know me. You don't know me. All right, now I gotta study, please. I have to study. I have to study. 
Hey, stop acting like you can resist me when we know you can't. Don't fake like you don't want me. Look, look, man, I'm trying to concentrate, all right? I'm in college. I got things to do. Is it due tomorrow? No. Is it hard? No. So? So stop fronting. That work looks too hard for you anyway. It's not that hard, okay? I can, I can do it. I, I can do it. Thank you for your input. But this but Saints, Saints Road the third, the third right, right here, right man. I see the game. I see the game. Then you better stop acting like you don't want to come over here and push these buttons. I know you're stressed. That homework don't look easy for your player. Look at that homework. They had the nerve to give you something with no pictures on it. What is wrong with them? I know it's stressing me out. I do need a stress reliever every once in a while. Then play with me. Nobody can blow up an old lady like you can. Yeah, I be blowing up stuff, don't I? Yeah, I do, I do. Then you then better you come you better over here and play, play, play with my joysticks, boy. Stop, Stop playing. playing, I ain't got time for these games, man. I'm trying to do this fight. Game. Stop trying to be educational. Stop what you are about. You are about these video games, man. Come over here and play some games. All, all day. Reading like you jangle and whatnot. Oh, it's so worth it. So worth it. Listen, I can relate to that 100% because it be, it been times I I've, I've been doing my homework and uh, the game just be over there. I be like, I I got to get right on 2K. It, it's just that I never had the controller talk to me. I don't I don't do them I don't do them things. That's, I'm sorry. That's just not me. All right. The next thing, public safety. Now, to be honest with you, Public safety is a huge issue. Uh, we need that. We need it. Like, I can't say nothing about it. Because without the public safety around the schools, a lot of things will go sideways. So it's very important that we have public safety here at Bethune-Cookman University. So while you think about that, let's get into this next one.
even though that skit is funny, you have to be safe. Some tips. Well, one, do not go nowhere by yourself. Please, people, because you have to think about it. You walking down a dark street and there's no one around you and you think it's all good. Think, please, for me, at least for me. All right, number two, if you have to go somewhere by yourself, be on the phone with someone so they know if something happens to you, they could call your mama, the police, your cousin, you know, et cetera. All right? Just a few things. For more information, sign up for the cookman.edu emergency alert. Just that easy. All right, the next thing. We li right here on Pound BCU Problems, we like to do a little, put a little light in your mood. So today's artist of the year, artist of the year, he could be artist of the year, Jersey Sean, and the song is called Hope. So we all have hope, you know, for a lot of things, like I hope I could get a new car. I hope my mama send me some money. I hope I get an A on this next test. You know what? Y'all watch this video while I keep hoping. Please. Sorry, I was I was stuck. Listen, <laughs> hope. I promise that song remind me of you know back in the day, one of them 1985 songs. I'm in Cali, no roof. Not because I don't have no roof, but it's a drop top. Come on, people, let's get with the program. Just riding, you know, just cruising. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. But sadly, right now, it's about that time. About that time for us to say bye bye. Until next week, man. 
This is pound BCU problems. I'm Ernest LeCount. We out of here.